Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my memory spread for Thanksgiving week. Um, finally, I have caught up to the next holiday. So it's for uh, November 19th through November 25th. And um, I have a really gorgeous kit from Lexi Kylie Designs that I'm really excited to use. Um, it came with a matching uh, little sampler sheet. So I'm gonna be pulling this in. And then we've got our full boxes on this page and some uh, quarter boxes at the bottom. Here we have our bottom washi, some glitter headers, and some washi strips. We've got all our half boxes, a three heart checklist, a um, sidebar tracker, bill due stickers, a day off, which I'm probably not going to need to use because I had the whole week off of work, which is awesome. And then we've got quarter boxes and headers at the bottom. And then here we've got all the functional items. We have a really cute weekend banner. I love that. We have some icons, some text stickers, another full box here. We have heart check flags and some um, other flags. This one says goals. We've got circle icons and two habit trackers. So this kit does come with a lot despite it only being four pages. I think I picked this up in the mini kit version and I feel like it comes with plenty of stickers so um, I probably won't need to pull in so many things from my leftover stash. Um, so yeah without further ado I want to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm slowly catching up with my spreads so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Um, I do want to mention that I'm going to be out of town for two and a half weeks. I'm going to Taiwan to see my family for the holidays and so I will kind of be um, taking another little hiatus at that time um, but when I come back I will be doing my memory spreads as I usually do so hopefully you guys won't mind too much and let's just get started by putting down the bottom washi the bottom washi that came in this kit was actually a little on the thinner side, which was perfect because I wanted to pull in this rose gold foiled washi tape. And that's when I picked up from Target. It's the Scotch Expressions brand. Um, and I just felt like the rose gold matched so nicely with this kit this week. I feel like rose gold matches well with fall kits that are brown or orange themed. And I do pull the washi in throughout the spread. I initially put this quote box in the top corner, but you'll see me switch that out later on. And then I go ahead and place down the flags that cover the flags of the Erin Condren planner. Continuing on with my sidebar, I put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. I think all the glitter headers that I pull in this week are from her shop. I then used one of the habit trackers from the kit to track my working out. And then um, I used a washi strip um, with a heart checklist to mark my happy moments of the week. That happy moment sticker is from Paper and Milk. I'm not sure she carries that anymore, but that sticker was actually the reason that I started tracking the happy moments in my sidebar, which I love doing. And then at the bottom of my sidebar, I put down a meals header with the Monday through Sunday box. This is where I go back up to the top and I decide to switch out the top corner box, mostly because I wasn't really feeling the gray, to be honest. And so I decided to choose this uh, wood pattern box with like florals at the top. And then I just um, hand lettered thankful. I think I wrote thankful heart actually. Um, and you see me just hand lettering that with my regular pen. I decided not to use a brush lettering pen just because sometimes I have a hard time fitting things in when I use my brush pens. Um, so yeah, that's how I chose to create my sidebar quote moving to monday i first started by putting down a strip of the foiled washi that i was using throughout the week and then i pulled in a i think it's like a little quarter box um, that came in my sampler sheet that rose gold foiled remember header is from rose colored days i put that right on top of the washi and then i pulled in a gold foiled heart from clever gal crafts to mark that i spent the morning um, watching some videos of my favorite taiwanese actor i was trying to get into the mood of going to taiwan and being really excited about it and then i met up with some friends to go hiking I put that on a half box and the shoe sticker I believe is from sticker sis I then decided to switch out the header situation So I put down a brown glitter header at the very top and move the washi strip with the remember script sticker To the middle section of my planner I then put down a full box and on top of that I used a quarter box with a pokey sticker from plans with finesse to mark that uh, My friends and I who went hiking actually met up with my boyfriend and another friend to get some pokey for lunch that day. And I'm not always one for mixing different groups of friends just because I feel like my attention is kind of torn between the two groups. But um, in this case, it actually worked out really well. Everybody got along, so that turned out good. Um, afterwards, we went and got groceries at Trader Joe's and we stopped by BevMo. So I used a groceries icon from the kit with two asterisks that were also from the kit. At this point, I decided to work from the bottom up. So at the very bottom, I put down a half box. Then I pulled in a gold foil heart sticker from student planning. And then on top of that, I used a washi strip to mark that I watched some Taiwanese drama. The emoji watching TV sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
I used the heart icon to mark that my friend and her boyfriend came over. She was actually visiting for Thanksgiving week, so I got to see her quite a bit, which was nice. And then um, that night, we decided to go to the jacuzzi and have some drinks, and so I used the half box to mark that. The jacuzzi cat sticker that I put down is from Echo Hui Craft Co., and I think it's so cute and perfect to mark a jacuzzi night. Then on Tuesday, I started by putting down a full box and a glitter header at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I moved back to the top. Um, if I haven't mentioned already, I didn't have work this entire week. Um, at my district, we do get the entire Thanksgiving week off, which was awesome. So that's why I'm not marking anything work-related. And I had kind of the whole week to um, just kind of enjoy and relax. So anyways, back to Tuesday. Um, I started with a to-do header at the top. Then I used a flag with a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shira to mark that I just binged in the morning. Again, it's so nice to just have lazy mornings when I don't have work. And then my boyfriend and I met up with some friends for lunch. We got Mexican food at this really bomb place. Um, so I put that on a quarter box and the taco sticker is from Plans with Finesse. We were right by the beach, and so we decided to take a walk on the pier. Um, so the shoe sticker I used is from Simply Laura Paper Shop. We then went and got some coffee, so I put that on a half box. Um, the coffee sticker is from Paper and Milk. And then after that, I just went home and chilled for the night, um, watched some TV and everything. So I used a washi strip to mark that. And the TV icon is from Kylie and Chaos. I try to do that really cute bow lettering that I've seen some, some other planner girls do. I think the planner sophisticate does it really well, but it did not turn out good at all. I just left it, but I was like, okay, that's like definitely not my thing. Um, then on Wednesday, I started by putting down a rose gold uh, washi strip there at the top. And then I put down a um, full box, the one with the wreath, uh, right underneath that. I then put down a glitter header with the Lazy Day sticker that came in the kit. And I also pulled in this three arrow gold foil sticker from Student Planning. Under that, I used the three heart checklist to mark some things. But before I wrote on my checklist, I decided to put down a quarter box behind the Lazy Day sticker. I used the TV icon that came in the kit on top of the full box, or I'm sorry, on top of the three heart checklist. And then later that night, I went and did yoga with my friend who's in town. So I put that on a half box. At the end of the night, we packed up and drove to my boyfriend's parents' house because um, we were spending Thanksgiving with them, which is always really exciting. So I used a suitcase sticker and that is from Sticker Blush. Now moving on to the latter half of the week, Thursday was Thanksgiving, so um, on the sampler that came with my kit, there was like a turkey day sticker. I put that on a quarter box and also pulled in a gold foil heart from student planning. I managed to squeeze in a workout in the morning because I knew I was going to be binging a ton of Thanksgiving food that day. Um, I think that dumbbell sticker came in the kit. I then used the full box that says Happy Thanksgiving, which is very appropriate. And for Thanksgiving this year, we got to have lunch with my boyfriend's extended family, which is really nice. So I put that on the half box that says Thankful at the top, and I think that's really, really cute. And then after lunch, we went over to another family member's house, and we just had some desserts and um, chatted and um, just relaxed, so that was really nice. I put down a washi strip with a gold foil heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts, and that Family Time script sticker also came in the little sampler sheet. I originally put that in the middle, but I moved it up because I wanted to note um, where we went for some desserts. And then at the end of the night, we stopped by somewhere before we went home. And then I also started my Black Friday shopping for all my stickers on that night because a lot of stores were starting at 12 a.m. Central. So that was uh, 9 p.m. where I was. And so I definitely was like on my computer ready and shopping at 9 p.m. Um, anyways, I initially put down a goals flag sticker from the kit, but I ended up switching it out for a house sticker instead and that also came in the kit. On Friday I put down the full box at the bottom first because I knew that's where I wanted it and then I decided to put down a strip of the rose gold washi right on top of it. Moving to the top of Friday I put down an appointment label and pulled in that Black Friday sticker which was also from the sampler sheet. Then I used a washi strip with this like girl spending money sticker. I think that's from Jesse James Design Co and I wrote take all my money because that's pretty much what happened with the remainder of Black Friday shopping. We went and had lunch with my boyfriend's grandpa so I put that on a half box and the gold foil heart sticker again is from Clever Gal Crafts. 
I did FaceTime my mom later on because um, it was her birthday where she lives. Um, so I wanted to wish her a happy birthday. That phone sticker came in the kit. And then afterwards, we sat out by the fire pit um, and it was so nice. I really love that little fire pit. It's so warm and it's just like a perfect spot to have some drinks and chat. Um, and the fire sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. At the end of the night, we had our last dinner together before we headed home um, the next morning, and I contributed by making my famous bacon Brussels sprouts, which are always tasty, and then I went to the weekend and I put down um, the rose gold wash sheet in the background and layered the weekend banner right in front of it. I then decided to switch up some of my full boxes because one of the remaining full boxes I had was um, that dark purple color. And because the weekend banner was already that color, I didn't want the full box to be right near it. And so I decided to switch the full box from Wednesday, the mustard yellow one with the wreath, um, to Saturday instead. So that's why I was kind of lifting up my full boxes. Um, as you can see, I replaced that wreath full box on Saturday. And then I placed down a strip of washi with another gold foil heart from Student Planning to mark that Saturday was my mom's actual birthday. I just had to FaceTime her the day before because where she lives, um, it was her birthday the day before. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I put down a car sticker that came in the kit and marked that we drove home. We did have to say goodbye to Pokey, which is always sad. Um, we had to leave her with my boyfriend's parents because we didn't have another chance to drive her back up there before we headed out to Taiwan. So that was really sad, but it's comforting because his parents absolutely adore Pokey. And so I know she's in good hands which is always nice. And um, when I got home, I did a quick workout. I put that on a quarter box and then we did Friendsgiving with some of our friends. So I basically had Thanksgiving food round two and I put the Friendsgiving on the half box. That banner sticker came in the kit and I just wrote love with a heart on it and brush lettered Friendsgiving. At the end of the night, originally I put down this um, quarter box to mark that we stopped by my friend's house. And I also used a gold foil heart sticker from student planning. Then moving to Sunday, on Sunday I had a ton of reports to write for work because of course I procrastinated until the very last moment to start working um, and I didn't get very much done even though I worked quite a lot that morning. Um, but anyways, I used a laptop sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. After about six hours of working, I figured I deserved a fun little break. So I put down a half box and um, that to-go script sticker is from K Stickers Co. I wrote down where we went. We went to a grocery store to grab some lunch and then also got some boba. The boba sticker is from Very Cute Designs. And then afterwards, we went to our friend's house to play a board game. I put down a full box first and then a glitter header with a washi strip. The board game Maru sticker is from Paper and Milk. And we started this game called Charter Stone, which is so fun. It's kind of like Catan for any of you who have played that, except it's like way more extended. There's like 12 rounds and then there's a final winner. So all in all, it probably took like 20 hours. So we split it up into three different days and Sunday was our first um, our first round basically. Um, at this point, I decided to switch out the um, quarter box at the bottom of Saturday because I wanted purple at the bottom of Sunday and I didn't want two purples next to each other. So I replaced the um, quarter box on Saturday with a washi strip and then I put down the dark purple uh, quarter box at the bottom of Sunday. This is when I realized that I forgot to use a glitter header on Saturday. So I trimmed the full box a little bit on the top and bottom so that I had enough space to squeeze in a glitter header. And then I also realized that I forgot a glitter header on Friday. So here I am just adjusting things to fit in a purple glitter header on Friday. Now that I'm all done with that, um, back to Sunday, I put down a TV icon from Sparkly Studio to mark that I watch TV at the end of the night and just kind of relaxed before my super crazy week of work that was to come. Now I'm just filling in my sidebar, tracking my working out, my happy moments, and my meals. And then I looked in my collection and found these date covers. These were from a leftover kit from Piper Paper Company that I used over a year ago. And I thought the colors actually matched this kit really well. So I decided to pull those in just because this is a special week with Thanksgiving and all. I wanted to uh, make it extra special by having some date covers. Um, and I really like how that turned out. So I'm really glad that I found those date covers in my stash. But anyways, here is how 
how my spread turned out at the end. I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so perfect for Thanksgiving week. I mean, between the colors and all the pumpkins and that little sign that says happy Thanksgiving, I think it's just perfect. So I hope you guys also enjoyed watching this despite it being almost Christmas right now. And even though I know it was like last month, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends and that you will also have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate that or if you celebrate any other holiday during this time of year. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much again for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.